Welcome everybody to another Clutch Cut Pack opening. It's the first one of 2020, and what's a better place to do it than right here at the card shop? Yeah. Card shop, how are you doing? What's up, Spidey? How you doing, buddy? Clutch Cut Crew? I'm doing good. Everybody, make sure you follow shop on YouTube, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards, and then also on Instagram, at Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. Today, yeah, we're opening a jumbo pack of Series 1, my favorite, gold label, and Topps Archives. Let's dig into these. Let's do it. All right. Right. I'm gonna put gold label and archives off to the side. We'll get through the jumbo pack to start this. There you go. Of course, tons of cards. That's how you get the name Jumbo. Jumbo pack is open. The first card we see is Rossiel Glacius, Rendon, who's gonna be an angel this season. I'm very excited for that. Albert Almora, Josh Bell, who was in the home run derby and an all-star last year. VR, who's now a Marlin. Then we got Cano, member of the Mets. We're going the opposite direction now, and we got, how do you say this guy's name? Vargas. Il Demaro Vargas. What a name on that guy right there. <laughs> We're flipping back over again. Your, or no, Matthew Boyd, who the Angels almost traded for, but they decided not to. Let me let me ask you real quick. This is yes. the first time you've seen uh, this uh, design, right? What do yes, you think series of the new one. 2020 design? You, you guys and everybody else watching right now, what do you guys think of the new 2020 Yeah, here you tops? go. Get a better shot at it right there. I think the last series one I opened, it might have been 2019. I think I opened last year's, but I'm not positive. I do like how the name right here is kind of like, well, what, whatever they're putting their name in is kind of breaking. Who's this? Ben Gamble. This is Starling Marte, who just got traded this off season. And then Brandon Crawford, a great shortstop. And this. And the inserts here, some of the rainbow foil one. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks different. It's definitely got that rainbow effect on it. Are these numbered usually? No, they're just uh, rainbow foil parallels. Okay, so that's Luis Brinson. And then we got an older looking card. Gold you know? parallel, that should be numbered. Oh, this is? Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Ooh, something behind that. Oh, too. really? Okay, 25 out of 50, and then I saw the name, but I didn't see what it said. Jordan Alvarez, Ooh. and it is hey. a patch of Jordan there Alvarez. That's pretty sweet. He's the rookie of the year right there. Look at that. I've been noticing in your videos, so this is a thing this year, a patch with the team logo? Yeah, the commemorative team logo patch. It should say on the back of the card specifically uh, what you got there. Yeah, jumbo Eight. jersey sleeve patch. Sweet, all right. So we'll set that over here by itself. Get the trash off to the side. The 2010's decade's best team, no Houston comment. Astros. We'll move on from that one. <laughs> all right, Chris Paddock, uh, Michael Conforto. Then we got Anthony Rizzo. This is Nick Pavetta. This is Derek Dietrich, who I think is one of the most entertaining players in baseball right now. I mean, just look at his sleeveless <laughs> uh, arms there, look man. At that. that guy's muscly. Those jerseys were sweet. I hope they bring these back for 2020. Matt Strom, I believe that's how it's pronounced. Nolan Arenado, that is Malik Smith. Jacoby Jones, looks like he's having a lot of fun. He must have did something very good right there. Trey Turner looks very focused right there. Rendon again, like I said, I'm very excited to have him on the Angels, can't wait. Then uh, Andrew Chafin, Jorge Soler, who had a very good year, but nobody really noticed. He was one of the home run leaders in the American League. Rendon again, that's three Rendones. Couple different inserts. Strasburg. And then uh, Baez, who will be the cover athlete for MLB The Show 20, which I just pre-ordered. What do you think about that decision? I think it would have been better if it was the year before when he was an MVP candidate. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, hey, he's El Mago. He's a great player, so I don't totally hate it. Yeah. Chase Anderson, Kristen Stewart. Every time I see this guy, he just reminds me of the girl from Twilight. Is it Kristen or Christian? I think it's Kristen. I know it's spelled Kristen, but I always have to call him Christian just because I can't call him Christian. <laughs> Kristen Stewart. Yeah, because you just think of the girl from Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> and then Jose Ucurdy. I'm okay. guessing that's how that's pronounced. Mm -hmm. And then another Astro, George Springer. We're just going to move on from Astros players yeah. very quickly. Jake Rogers. Ooh, this one's got... Oh, wait, this is the one that had the foil. Yeah, All right. to the middle there. So that is this pack, this Jumbo pack of Series 1. And our hit was a Jordan Alvarez Jumbo patch. I like that. There you go. We're going to open... We'll do Topps Archives next. This is a quick rip, right? Just... Yeah, quick rip, brand new product. 2020 Topps Archives gives you one encased buyback autograph per box. That's it. All right, let's go. 
Hopefully we get a very good player. I'd love to get Yelich on the front right there. Or Trout. Trout would be insane. Otani. This is the active player edition, so it could be any active player, really. All right, so it's just going to be a quick little pop as soon as I get it out right here. There you go. Okay, so as soon as I pop this open, we will see who this player is. And one, two, three, go. It is oh, yeah. Aaron Nola. Decent. Yeah, he's a good pitcher for the Phillies. There you go, an Aaron Nola autograph from Topps Archives right Nola here. Oh yes, it is numbered. It is numbered out of 37. A cool. strange number. Yeah, he's got a nice signature, man. He's he great, does. He's got a great arm. Uh, that's a good card right there. Yes, yeah, so you can read that signature clearly. I like that. So next, we're gonna go with my favorite, Topps Gold Label. Let's get into it. All right, Topps Gold Label. I have had so much luck with this product. I'm hoping it continues into the new year. Let's hopefully get somebody who's a proven star or an up-and-coming rookie. That would be very nice. And the first thing you always do when you open Gold Label, you find the Gold Label card, which is this bottom one right here. You can tell it's thicker than the rest, and you can just tell by how it feels. So we'll set that back there, and we'll dig into these. Okay, here we go, starting it off. I see on the back we got Sandy Koufax, a Dodgers legend. Here we have Barry Larkin, a Reds legend. Then we have, oh, lots of legends to start this. Ozzie Smith, a Cardinals legend. And then we got Walker Bueller, our first current player, who is probably going to be your guy's best pitcher this year, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we're really looking forward to watching Bueller this year. He's got a lot of potential for sure. Yes, and I think we have another black behind him, and that is Deion Sanders. Nice. So, so far, Bueller is the only current player, and he will be <laughs> the only current player in this pack. Cool. There you go. That's a pretty legendary pack to start off. Let's go with this one now, see if we get an active player. I see Archer, yep, there you go. So Chris Archer will be the next current. And you say Kikuchi. Austin Riley, behind him is Ricky Henderson. Yeah. Your favorite, do you have a Ricky Henderson? I have a team? lot of these, this is class one. Yes, I have this one. So there's different classes, class one, okay. class two, class three. Okay. I have that one already. All right, if you didn't know, Shop's personal collection consists of Ricky Henderson. Yes, I have almost 450 different Ricky Henderson cards in my personal collection. Dang. I have not picked a player for that yet, but maybe I will soon. Probably Trout. That'd yeah, be pretty a good, one. good one to start with. There's that hand right there. We're moving on to pack number three from Gold Label. And I see Alonzo on the back. So that is a good name. Hopefully a red or a blue parallel of him. That'd be pretty sweet. Stanton right here. Then behind him we have Whit Merrifield. His nickname, I don't know if it is already, but it should be Hit Merrifield. Because this all this dude does is hit. And then behind him is Carlos Correa, who we're going to move past very quickly. Roger Clemens. So this is still class one, correct? Even class though it's black? One black parallel, yes. Okay. And then Pete Alonso. There you go. He won Rookie of the Year. He got the rookie card symbol right there. And we're getting into the next pack. All right. Tearing into this one. I see Griffey Jr. on the back, who is the cover athlete on 2019 Gold Label. We got Rizzo right here, member of the Chicago Cubs. Albert Pujols, who is probably going to wrap up his career within the next two seasons, yeah, I'd assume. Yeah. Retire as an angel, so that'll be pretty cool. Trey Turner. Then you got Bryce Harper, class three, black parallel. This might be the game where he hit that walk-off grand slam. That's the uniforms they were wearing. That was his best moment in Philadelphia so far. And then Ken Griffey Jr. He's on the box, and there he is on a card. Now we're down to two packs in this gold label box. Okay, opening this up, I see Reese Hoskins, who I do have an autograph of. Now we're going to flip it over, and we got Josh Donaldson, who is now a member of the Minnesota Twins, who I really did not see him going there. That one kind of shocked me. Ryan Sandberg, cool. a Cubs legend. Nolan Ryan, a legend for the Astros, Angels, Mets, many teams in his career. Another Trey Turner, and then that Reese Hoskins. And now we're going to get into the last pack before we tear into the gold pack. So let's rip this open right here. And I see Seeger on the back. Is it Corey or Kyle? What's your guess, Shop? Mm, Corey. All right, let's see. It is Corey. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then we got Tatis, a very good rookie. Yeah. Behind him, Keston Hera, oh, another nice. good rookie. Buster Posey, a veteran at this point in his career. And then we have Nick Senzel, another good rookie. 
<laughs> and then behind him, Corey Seager. And now, with all those cards opened up, we will open the gold pack. You can see that thickness right there. There's gonna be a card on top of the gold card and on the back. So on the back, I see Trevor Bauer. So let's turn this over and we have Jacob deGrom. Okay. And I always love to do the slow reveal. See, let's get this card out of the way. And then slow reveal. It is a Met. It could be Pete Alonzo. Oh. Come on. Yeah, it looks like him. Oh, and it is! Yeah! <laughs> Pete oh. Alonzo. Rookie autograph gold label. Yeah. This product just continues to be <laughs> very good to me wow. and just lucky. Yes. Oh my God. On card rookie <laughs> auto gold frame. That is a beauty. Show Look a little this. close up of that signature Look right this. there. Look at that. Wow. That this guy is, is going to have a great career. He <laughs> had obviously one of the best rookie seasons of all time. Mm -hmm. And this year he's going to be so fun to watch. What a great card. Look out for this. My one. God. So let me put all the hits together and then I will show you guys. So if you made it to the end of this video, then let me know what your favorite hit was. I'm pretty sure most of you are going to say it was this Pete Alonzo card. Shop, what was yours? Uh, that Alonzo is really nice. That Aaron Nola card right here is yeah. pretty nice too. I really like Aaron Nola. That's a nice signature too. It is. So remember, like I said, everybody, subscribe to Shop's YouTube channel, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. Follow him on Instagram, Hall of Fame Baseball Cards. We will see you next time.